Hey, do you guys know what today is? Today's day 76. And as promised, today is, uh, let me just double check. Today is day four of the eight day um, helpful habits of successful people who lose weight. Believe it or not, when I say eight helpful habits, one is asking for help. Hard to imagine, eh? Research saying that uh, you're going to sustain your weight loss if you ask people for help or if you watch my videos. <laughs> I just had to throw that in there. But it is It is sometimes um, you, you may... What's the word? I guess a lot of people, and I've done this, I am guilty of this one for not asking for help because um, I just want to keep it a secret. How many of us out there, I feel like there's hair in my eye. I, I know I need a haircut, it's in my eyes. Um, how many people like to keep it a secret and really don't wanna to talk to people about it? I've done that because I don't want um, the attention on me. I'm not, not that kind of drama queen. <laughs> I have other types of drama, but my weight loss isn't one of them. It kind of generates its own. When you're morbidly obese, you lose 75 pounds, believe it. People notice. <laughs> like I went from a, um, extra large pants to a size small. My waist is very tiny. My problem is is my center of my body. So you see, I still see fat on my neck, very big hair. I have fat on my back, my underarms. I mean, but that's just, that's not going to go anywhere. That's just going to get hangy. <laughs> and... Um, I still have a um, fat in my belly, which when I was thinner, by the way, and I guess I almost had abs, I kind of liked a little pad of fat on my belly. I don't know why, I just find it comforting. But um, which this view here is when you need a helping hand. Um, so um, signs you need, may need to work on this habit is that you find it difficult to ask others for help. You don't expect your family to change, and your family makes tempting food for you, and you know they're offering you cake or pie, and and you're not um, you're you're not sure what to experience and do about it. So, and then I've had sabotage, which I talk to, and I'm not. This isn't part of the eight habits, but you gotta tell people you're on a journey. If they say go ahead, you deserve it. Remember, you have the power to say no. But one of the things I find is when you ask others for help, sometimes they have useful recipes. They might tell you how they fit, um, take and pack in their lunch. They may tell you how they incorporate their exercise. Maybe an exercise, maybe there's a real good yoga class. Um, recently my friends wanted me to sign up for, um, I guess, exercise in the pool, which is good for me because I got a bad knee. So I don't have any excuses not to work out. So, but tonight I needed footwear. And my footwear was, um, surprisingly, it cut my foot. <laughs> it's like, oh no, it's like, I just started walking in a week and it cuts my foot. It's like, you know what? You need to invest in yourself, but that's not one of the eight habits anyway. So that's all I'm saying is be, feel free to ask people for help. There must be something you got a question about. And remember, I'm here. I, I check all my notifications. I want you to leave me a note. I want you to ask me a question. I've been on every every weight loss plan out there. I used to be morbidly obese. You look at me now. Um, I, I did the math. I only have 25 pounds to make it to goal weight. I've never made it to goal. And and um, that's what my doctor wants me to be. And if I feel like I need to be lighter, I'm going to be lighter. If I feel like I need to be heavier, I'm going to be heavier. Right now, I'm in agreement that... 20, there's hair in my eye, that 25 pounds would be lovely because I've gotten um, to where I am now. I've gotten 10 pounds lighter than where I am right now, and I liked it. So 25 pounds from now, perfect. So anyway, that's day 70, day 70, what did I say, 76 for you. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Now, I'm asking you for help. Press like, subscribe, and notification. I'll see you tomorrow.